So this is the MCQ video of VLSA subject. I hope that you have seen the 10 questions. Now we are going to see the solutions. Okay. So in this video, we are preparing for Keltron engineer examination, which is going to happen from 5th to 7th. Okay. So let us see the solutions one by one. The first question is CMOS has dash. It is actually asking the regard uh, the properties of the properties regarding CMOS technology. CMOS is complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Okay, so that is CMOS. CMOS means MOS means metal oxide semiconductor. C for complementary. Okay, now what is the main feature of CMOS? CMOS has dash a high noise margin b high packaging density c high power dissipation d high complexity it is actually having high packaging density okay CMOS technology is having high packaging density okay so we can actually manufacture using CMOS technology we can manufacture a lot of uh, in lot of uh, equipments or instruments on a single board okay so it is having high packaging density we can pack a lot of elements onto a single board so the correct answer is b okay next question so in this video we will be actually discussing more on the steps of uh, ic fabrication and all those things okay let us see the question number two oxidation process is carried out using dash a hydrogen b low purity oxygen c sulfur d nitrogen so oxidation process we are actually carrying out in the presence of high purity oxygen and high purity hydrogen so out of the given options you can only choose hydrogen because the other one which is low purity oxygen we can only use high purity oxygen and hydrogen so the correct answer is a which is hydrogen okay next question is regarding the photoresist material so the photoresist is actually uh, we are using for creating the well or some uh, some portion in order to in order to mask the portion we are actually using the photoresist i hope you remember the uh, terms photoresist etching and all okay so photoresist layer is formed using dash a high sensitive polymer b light sensitive polymer c polysilicon d silicon dioxide okay so light sensitive polymer material is actually being used for photoresist Okay, so from the term itself, photo resist. Okay, now what is photo? Photo means light. Photosynthesis. Photo, it is actually indicating light. Resist means resisting the light. Now, this can be either positive photoresist or negative photoresist. Positive photoresist uh, and negative photoresist has actually two different qualities. One will uh, get dissolved in presence of light. One will get more harder in presence of light. Okay. So, anyway, it is related to light sensitive polymer. Okay, correct answer is option B. Next question. That is a fourth question. In CMOS fabrication, the photoresist layer is exposed to dash. Okay, A visible light, B ultraviolet, C infrared, D fluorescent. So what is happening is if you want to create some consider that this is the substrate you want to create a well here so you will be placing a photoresist here and then you will be exposing that to UV rays okay. So first you will be uh, placing the photoresist here so this region will be actually covered or masked then in order to remove that photoresist material what will we do we will be actually applying photo sorry uv rays okay so uv rays is being given to the photoresist okay so that is the method or that is the way we applying of we apply photoresist anyway it is being it is a material which is sensitive to ultraviolet rays uv rays okay correct answer is b ultraviolet rays fifth question according to the the fifth question is according to body effect substrate is biased with respect to dash okay so there is a phenomenon happening in the cmos uh, cmos materials or cmos 
structures which is called body effect okay so here we are actually biasing the substrate with respect to the source terminal there are three terminals source is there drain is there gate is there right so you are going to bias a substrate with respect to the source okay so that is actually happening in the body effect or in order to uh, minimize the body effect we are doing this thing okay that is called body effect and in order to minimize it we bias substrate according to the source correct answer is a transconductance gives the relationship between dash a input current and output voltage b output current and input voltage c input current and output uh, input voltage d output current and output voltage transconductance express the relationship between output current and input voltage vgs okay so ids and vgs input voltage this is output current output current to input voltage it is called transconductance gm okay correct answer is option b output current and input voltage next question so you just need to brush up all these areas okay next question transconductance is increased by dash decreasing the width b increasing the width c increasing the length d decreasing the length transconductance of the most device that is gm is increased by increasing the width okay it doesn't depend on the length it is only depending on the width so you can increase the gm or the transconductance by increasing the width okay correct answer is option b by increasing width we can increase the transconductance option correct is b okay next question eighth question switching speed of a most device depend on dash a gate voltage above threshold b carrier mobility c length of the channel d all of the mentioned it is actually depending on all of the mentioned the gate voltage should be above threshold only then the most device will be turned on okay so most device generally having three they will be generally having three terminals there will be a gate there will be a drain and a source right so the input terminal or the gate terminal should be having a voltage above the threshold voltage also the carrier mobility it is depending on and also the channel length okay so all of the mentioned is the correct answer which is option d next question next question what is a mos transistor that is it is what type of a device that is a question a minority carrier device b majority carrier device c majority and minority carrier device d none of the mention correct answer it is it is a majority carrier device now this is a ma main difference between bjts and mosfets or mos device mos transistors okay these mos transistors only uh, working based on the concept of majority carriers but if you see there is also leakage currents and all that leakage current or minority carrier concept is included in the bjt so you will be taking the current ico icbo all these currents you will be taking okay so you are also considering the minority currents or minority carriers while discussing the bjt but in case of most devices or most transistors you are only considering the majority carrier device there is no minority carrier concept coming here okay so ma majorly it is only depending on majority carriers not on the minority carriers so correct answer is option b which is most transistor is a majority carrier device okay next question that is a 10th question the most transistor is non conducting when dash a zero source bias b zero threshold voltage c zero gate bias d zero drain bias okay so uh, just now i have explained while explaining the three terminals gate 
drain and source the threshold voltage that is the gate threshold voltage should be or the gate input voltage should be greater than the threshold voltage only then the device will start to conduct okay so if there is three terminals there is gate there is drain and there is source the threshold voltage should be met or the input voltage should be greater than the threshold voltage so here the gate is the input terminal so the gate bias should be greater than the threshold okay so it is depending on what the most transistor is in non conducting when zero gate bias when the gate bias is zero means the device is non conducting state okay correct answer is c is the correct option okay so these are the 10 questions which i have included in this video uh, these are actually very basic questions from uh, vlsi cmos technology and all okay so when you are going for this examination you should be covering at least the uh, various stages of ic fabrication or most transistor technology uh, and also uh, regarding the various stages of this uh, most implanting the photoresist etching and all those things and also the most transistor basic transconductance voltage the three terminal its relation current relations all these things you should be at least knowing okay so i'm really hoping that this video was useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching